Hi, I just wanted to do a quick update on these dragon fruit cuttings um, that have been growing indoors. I started on December 10, 2022. It's been a little bit over a month now. It's now January 11, 2023. And I wanted to show you what it looks like after it's been in a water, vase of water only um, that's been sitting on top of an air fryer I use as a heating source and just left it there um, changing the water every couple of days to prevent rot and cleaning it out with a dab of hydrogen peroxide and baby wipe so now I just wanted to show you um, what it's looked like um, I have not been able to plant them because it's been raining lately and um, the ones I've tried to grow outdoors in a pot just rotted. So this, these are the only ones I have left um, from the winter. So I'm gonna start to just lay them out. This was the third cutting, the longest one. And um, I'm gonna set them down and I'm gonna compare. As you can see so far, the longest one also um, developed the longest root. Um, this was the second one that was cut where the inner stem was not exposed. It is one of the shorter one and also shortest root, shorter root, I guess, compared to the third one. And this was the first one where we exposed the inner stem. So I'm just going to lay them out here and compare. Um, see? So this is after a month of sitting in water and just waiting for it to root because um, it's winter, it's cold, it's not, the ones I planted outside are not growing. So just wanted to show you how progressed the roots have become. Um, this is after a month of sitting in water. So I'm just gonna go back. Um, these two are short and they also bore a shorter stem. I'm sorry, shorter roots compared to the longer branch I did so this one rooted longer compared to this one um, there I I immersed them with different cutting this one with the inner stem exposed so the roots are not a lot but it's longer this one I just cut straight off and not exposing the inner root I mean inner stem and there's several roots that have developed from it and then this one is the longest one perhaps providing more energy source um to grow these roots so these this one is the more successful most successful out of the three so if you are going to do this experiment i recommend to make the branches a little bit longer and before placing them in water but if you don't have a lot, I mean, dividing this long branch into two of these little branch also works just fine. And again, I just wanted to provide this quick update. And here are the results of just growing dragon fruit branches, just sitting in water vase on top of some sort of a heating source. It doesn't matter what it is. In this case, I use an air fryer for mine. And yeah, it works. It works. So if you can't plant them outside for whatever reason, um, cold weather, rainy weather, um, yeah, whatever reason, <laughs> water indoors works just as fine, just as well, and some sort of heating source if there is. But I think water by itself, because the air fryer isn't doesn't really get too hot, just water alone sitting in a month, replacing every couple of days works just fine. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll try to produce um, similar videos you can learn from and share with you guys. Thank you so much and see you next time.